What's up YouTube? Back in the garage yet again, doing more work on the Falcon. Uh, I'm sure you saw the last couple videos. It has hazard lights. Has a new three-core eBay radiator with a 2,500 CFM fan. It seems to be working. Um, I used the 30 amp resettable breaker, 10 gauge wire to the relay, and then 12 to the fan. Seems to be holding up pretty good. Today we are unlowering the cheesy lowering job that they did on this thing. So, they put three inch fucking blocks on this damn thing. U-bolts that are stripped out. And, um, yeah, let me cut to what I had to cut out. Like I said, they had these three by two lowering blocks and then guess they had issues with the centering pin so they made their own and even that was pretty hesitant and then damn the u-bolt didn't have enough thread so they just used as many washers as possible and even then it was still maxed out because you can see they are all the way down so I had to cut them damn out all of them maxed out didn't space it properly. <laughs> and then under here, it's just, you know, the factory three leaf springs. You know, nothing special. And some air shocks that have been bottoming out everything. Like the snub nut is bottomed out. That's beginning to blow out. I mean, it looked good. You drive it empty, I guess you're okay. There's the little glass pack. You can tell the axle is rubbing. So, should have started recording earlier, but I totally forgot. So, I got my new U bolts in. And in case you're wondering what size those U bolts are, I got them from Rock Auto. Not sponsored. Would love to be, but I'm not. They are. 7 by 16 by 2.5 by 6. I'm sure that's uh, yeah, 7 16 grade 5 bolts. So, Rock Auto sells them for I think it's $4 a piece. Let me double check here. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see where all the old airlines ran. Choo -choo -choo. Yeah, let's see. What's the part number? CSP UA111R. These spring bolts. Four. Doesn't tell me what I spent. But, oh cool. I even get a nice little magnetic decal. So, it used to be an air tank. Lots of airlines. I mean, they even painted the seat. I mean, I'm sure it was cool when they did it. Ankle now. Oh, and I added an electric lock. I'm waiting on the uh, uh, either just to wire it in. Yeah, I actually fished that with no things, but yeah, electric lock. That locks. Freeze that up. Let it go. That's it. Came out pretty good. Already with power to it. I tested it. But uh, back to complaining. Yes. Three inch blocks and U-bolts, unless you're planning to drive really slow and watch out for, you know, number two pencils on the ground because you'll bottom out. Um, yeah, run excessive U-bolts. I mean, they sell, you know, de-arched rings, four link kits, three link kits. I mean, you know, whatever to lower the car nicely. I mean, I know blocks are cheap. And usually I do shit cheap, but even that was like a no-no for me. And that's why I took them out. I had to cut them out. Like I said, both sides. Both sides were just to shit. Yeah. Golden washers. I mean, that's more than enough. I mean, someone didn't have a measuring tape. I don't know. And then, oh, the other weird thing about this car, gas tank filler. This is 
hey, I filled up too much. This is supposed to reroute back to the tank, not to the outside. I think they thought it was a vent, but it already has the factory vent, which comes up, goes around, comes back down again outside of the car. So that's yet another thing I need to magically plumb black back in or, you know, just plug it up. Or kind of leave it the way it is, but you know, I do have a huge half inch hose venting out on the other side of the car, but whatever. So, moral story is um, U bolts for a stock 1969 Falcon is 7 16th by 2 and a half, you know, wide by 6. Probably could have gone away with 5s with how much thread I got sticking out of there. But, you know, for $4, four dollars a piece, and then <laughs> the funny part was shipping was like $9, I think. And that was just, you know, basic. They said it'd be here Monday. I ordered them Tuesday, and it's Thursday. Well, now it's actually Friday, but, um, yeah, they, they came earlier uh, Thursday. Everyone's finally asleep, so I came out here to... You know, play with the car, that, and since I got it so far forward, I can't close the door, it's going to hit. But, uh, yeah, um, let me put it back on the ground, see how much the ride height really changed. So, so here we are. Still fucking low, but I'm not on the bump stops. I actually got like three inches of travel. Oh, these pads. So worth the money if you want to save your knees Ugh. or your back. So as you see, we actually got space. But these leaf springs look freaking terrible. I guess that's what happens when you put a bag in it. Or they de-arched it. I am not too sure, but uh, they're both like that. But, I feel better having three inches more, uh, clearance. Oh, yeah. Talk about hiding the crimes. It's even worse. I mean, they even forgot on the other side to weld some shit. But, hey, that's what happens when, uh, you buy someone else's shit. Yeah, see how much shit I got on those U-bolts? I mean... Could have probably been an inch shorter, but no more on the bumps, bump stops. I mean, this is me just moving it. Yeah, the front's a different chore. Yeah, that's one of those things. Yeah, did they take a torch to the leaf springs? I don't see heat marks, but I think that's something else I might have to order to get this up another three inches or so but at least now I could take out the tires talk about I missed a spot <laughs> wow well at least it drains the water ah uh, yes so once again sorry about the shake cam and whatnot I don't have my little handle thingy to hold it and whatnot um project car I wanted to tinker again definitely got some shit to tinker with just like when I bought the bug that used to be on bags like this was um, I'm fighting just to get like decent handling out of it um, by restoring the suspension somewhat where it should be because um, uh, you know the Wuha virus or whatever you want to call this coronavirus um, <laughs> there's no work so I've been applying, no one's really called back, so I'm doing what I can with what I would spend on lunch money, I guess, to, to fix this shit. Um, like I said, got the new radiator in there, got the little uh, 30 amp, and then the relay, and uh, it's worked pretty good. Um, do, do, do. Where was I going with this? It's really late. 
Um, so the rear end's three inches higher. I still got the air shocks that I don't have to fill up to like 100 PSI just to get it up four inches. So I can actually put some air in the back, have some, you know, actual okay driving. The front's still on pretty much the, the bump stops of the front shocks. I found those springs for, I think it was 80 bucks a piece. Might get the, the V8 springs or, you know, whatever. I got some cans I could recycle that might pay for, you know, a set of springs or try to find some used stock springs and cut those down so it's not as low as this. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, but I feel it wasn't um, the right way to leave the car. You know, it had Rytec air shockwave shock, you know, bag slash shock or strut, whatever you want to call it. And they took that, the air tank, the compressor, and all that shit off when they sold the car to someone else. And, or, you know, someone sold it and put stock shit on it. I don't know what the fuck happened with this thing. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, working on the trunk release. You know, like I said, I'll either order like a cheap, you know, car alarm to have keyless entry. I have a couple more of those uh, box solenoids left over. I mean, they're selling four four for 12 they're three bucks a piece you know same thing with the relays that i bought you know it was five for 25 you know you gotta love deals like that um so electric lock on the trunk because the key's old and you gotta do the whole shimmy shimmy thing i really just you know push your remote on a bun or put a bun in the dash or in the glove box some shit like that like cadillacs you know they have the trunk release in the glove box but uh Thanks for watching, subscribing, you know, stay safe, you know, wear your silly little masks here. Yeah, I got my little banana. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up. Um, like, subscribe, you know, usual. Take care, guys.